Okay, just doing another Flare 58 video. I did uh, one some months back and I thought I'd give a few more tips since uh, uh, people are saying they're having some issues uh, with pulling shots. So I pulled uh, about 19 grams in here. Um, I'll just have to say that in comparison to other machines that I use, like my heat exchange machine, I do have to use a bigger, a little bit bigger dose. Um, I use about a half a gram more. Um, I use a low flow basket and I do have to grind significantly finer for the Flare 58. So I usually just use the tool here just for a quick stir. Um, I give a quick wrap on the counter. Um, sometimes I'll just kind of distribute a little bit more. And then I do like using uh, this instrument. Um, I know some people say it really doesn't do much. I think if anything, it just makes it easier to uh, tamp. Um, so I just give a firm tamp, nothing real hard. Okay. So next thing I do is I take the screen, which is hot, put that on, just give it a firm push, lock in the portafilter. My water is at 212, and you'll see I've got the original version here, which um, I kind of like. Put my water in. Overfill just a little bit. Now we'll put the uh, plunger in. You can see if you just pull this down and then pull it up, you're ready to go. So now I'm going to get my cup. There we go. I usually for about, I pull for a few seconds at uh, two to three bars. There we go. It's starting to come down. So now I'll go up to about eight or nine bars. And then I usually pull about to 20 grams um, and then I back off on my pressure. So I'm gonna start backing off on it. And I pull 35 grams total. There we go. Let's take a look at that shot. Looks pretty nice. Now, of course, you just have to pull all the excess water out. That's pretty good. Pull it back up. And I'll just show you, show you what I do. I just kind of knock the screen out. I'll knock that into the uh, knock box. And that's pretty much it. There's the shot. Let's see how that tastes. Very nice. No bitterness, nice and smooth. Very good. Okay.